have to do this. We can't afford to fail. If we don't find a way to defeat that flan... Hey, don't get too wound up now. People start to make mistakes when they stress out too much. If you know what I mean. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> okay, let's do this. If you want to try, be my guest. What do you mean? For every road, there's a different gate. If you try to use a gate that's meant for someone else, well... See? Does this mean Snow can't come with us? Yep, he stays. Uh, I guess I drew the short straw. And don't you do anything foolish behind our backs, like trying to take on giant flans single-handed? Yeah, you behave yourself or else. You got it? I'm serious, Snow. I'll be good. <laughs> cool, cool. And back to business. Okay then, we'll make you a deal. <laughs> Job well done, I guess. Yeah, and Snow will be waiting. I hope he's still okay back there. But I bet he won't be waiting by the gate for us. No, I suppose not. He's just like my sister. Always just charging ahead. Charging ahead into an early grave. He acts like he's everyone's boss. Just marches ahead and never thinks how much danger he's putting himself in. Idiots like that. They're all the same. Their heads in the clouds, thinking self-sacrifice can somehow save everyone. But people die anyway. Noel, I hope you don't get yourself killed. Huh? After all, you've risked your life a lot of times. To help me, I mean. Why? But I can tell the difference between fantasy and reality. I'm not like Snow. I didn't say you were. He just took off and left you alone. Did what he wanted. Didn't care who he left behind or who he hurt. I understand. 
understand why Snow made Noel so angry. Once upon a time, someone Noel loved left him behind. It hurt him almost more than he could bear. It still does. He didn't have to tell me. The pain on his face made it clearer than words ever could. I can't believe that worked! <laughs> Lucky he was open to reason. Jellyhead is starting to slow down. But those small flan keep coming and coming. They're pouring out of Pulse Nose layer. Do you think there's still another paradox? It's possible. Double paradoxes do occur. Let's check it out. Come on, Mog. Been here already?
Hey guys, you could be wrong, but aren't we going the wrong way? Looks like the flan are heading further in. But there's no path for us to take. We can get stuck. That's what the vines are for. Come on, Mom. So, no, you haven't told me why you're traveling through time. Long story short, I'm trying to save humanity. Save humanity? Why? What happens to us? I lived at the end of day. This is Crystal 2. Huh. I've seen crystals like this before. Right, sir? You remember, don't you? I remember I cried a crystal tear. Sarah, you know what it's like, don't you? Being turned into crystal. Yes, I know. It was the loneliest scariest moment of my life. Sarah, I... <sighs> it's all right. You know, I think I dreamed the whole time. But they were good dreams. Dreams about turning back to normal. Being with my friends again. Cool <laughs> I hope that's true. I hope Fang and Vanille are dreaming right now. I hope they're happy in there. Fang and Vanille, they were friends of yours? And now they're sleeping inside that crystal pillar? Yeah. They've turned to crystal.
Looks like this gate leads back to the Historia Crux. History. The pillar was gradually eroded over centuries before civil war finally toppled it. Did your history books happen to mention the monster? No. The rate that thing is eating through the crystal, it won't need a war to bring down Cocoon. I wonder where this one goes. 